guys, Blue Yoshi here, and welcome back to Super Mario Galaxy! Last time, we went to the engine room and collected all five stars in the Toy Time Galaxy. And today, we are going back into the engine room and finishing that up. That's right, guys. We are finally fighting Bowser here in the engine room. So, yeah. Give this episode a like if you enjoyed the episode and you want to see more. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring that bell so that you get these notifications. And comment if you have anything to say to us. So, yeah. Anyways, today I'm here with my brother, Micah. Uh, yeah, Micah. And he is going to be doing this episode with me as we start off 2017. So, you may be asking, what is our first start of 2017? Well, don't worry. I got your back, guys. I have answered your prayers. You see, the first galaxy is Bonefin Galaxy. So yeah, let's blast off to this galaxy, and let's get this party started. So yeah! Alright, so, we're going to Bonefin Galaxy, and we are going to be going into Kingfin's Fearsome Waters, apparently. Okay, let's see how this turns out. This, this doesn't sound very good on our part, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, also, in the comment section, I'd really like feedback for, uh, for these newer videos. I would like the, I'd like some criticism if you have any. Uh, obviously, uh, constructive criticism. Um, uh, so yeah, if you have anything to say, go ahead and say it. Like, honestly, that's the purpose of the comment section, and you guys don't seem to like to use it very often, but you know what? It's not my problem, okay? Alright, so. Uh, let, let's blast off. Two! Bones fan, feel some models. Alright everyone, this is our first boss today. This is King Finn! King Finn is a relatively easy boss, and of course now that I've said that I'm probably going to jinx it and I'm gonna lose really fast. Alright, so, here's what you need to do, okay? Essentially, King Finn has, uh, yeah, he has a certain amount of HP, and all you need to do is you need to throw shells at him. And, of course, he'll glow red once he is hit. So, yes, that's pretty much the gist of the fight. Pretty easy to understand. Uh, you do have to watch out for volcanoes, his minions, uh, you know, just the normal things, you know, like, like, hail. You need to watch out for your AP or hail points. Again, this is... There's there's no rocket science, guys. This is pretty easy. It's not AP math, guys. <laughs> see, see that just worked out too well for me. But yeah. Anyways, I suggest uh, getting this red shell heal. It will it will uh, very much aid you in this battle. Of course, grab a life stream if you need it. We're going to just to be safe. And we are almost done with this fight. I will say I'm pretty sure. He did glow red, so uh, I don't know. I think actually he may have four, uh, two hit points left. I don't know. We'll see about this. Of course, we miss him that time when I'm saying that we're gonna hit him. All right. All right, Micah, tell me something. Say something. Um. He looks difficult, but that's our talk. No game. <laughs> anyway, so now he is really mad. He is triggered, you could say. His glowy eyes have started to get even more menacing because now they are wet. And of course, as we know from literally every Mario Galaxy boss, if they are wet, they are angry. <laughs> it's just how the world works. Anyways, let's just hit him right there and that will finish off this fight. Or you can have one more hit points. That that works out too. Yeah, there we go. Kamikaze death. You soul have died. <laughs> yeah, we got we kinda of destroyed him, like Yeah, we just we just destroyed him now. He is no longer a threat to the society. The point of even doing that? Non-existent, but you know what? 
we don't care about the logic here at Nintendo, because this is Super Mario Galaxy! <laughs> Anyways, let's collect our first star here of 2017. Da 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 da! That was our first star of Super Mario Galaxy in 2017. Uh -oh. Yep. All right, Micah, give us thy words of wisdom. No, give us thy words of wisdom. Now, I need your words of wisdom, not not your opinion. Your words of wisdom. Okay. See, di different thing. Um. Where are we going next? Alright, so that is a good question indeed. Our next place that we are going is actually not going to be in the engine room. In fact, our next destination is outside. And it's actually not our final destination today. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah, all we need to do is ride right along here. You can probably guess what we're doing here. Yeah, we are going to talk to this hungry limo. So yeah. Hey you! Yeah you! Can you teach me stormits? If you feed me a bunch of stobits, I'll boost with stacky happiness and then transform! I'm famished! I need 1,000 stobits to cope the hunger pains! So hungry! Yeah, so remember back in like episode like 7? Like back in like 6th grade when I, when I, at, when I said, oh My gosh, this guy needs too much food. He's like, 400 stobits? What's wrong with you? And now this guy... It's 2.5 times the amount of stars. This dude, he has problems. Don't judge though, it's not a good, it's not a good thing. Alright, let's blast off to this green ominous galaxy and see what our second thing is going to be. The Sand Spiral Galaxy choosing a favorite snap. <laughs> Guys, don't fall in the quicksand, by the way. It's not a good idea. But yeah, so we do have a little preview of what we're going to be going over here in a second. But yeah, we have like half an airship right here. With a, with a Kame queue. I think it's suggesting that this may or may not be the remnants of Bowser Jr.'s airship I'm on it. Again, more to that theory comes every episode here. It's amazing. Anyways. Go, go ahead, Michael. Go ahead. Um, why did I put it there? Because it's the Maybe. Anyways, so, you can see that we have two power-ups that we can grab here. You can grab the Ghost Room, or the Beast Room, as you can see that I'm using. Yeah, you can probably guess the one that I'm doing. The Boost Room! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, I got tricked there. Ooh, I'm so tricky! Ooh! <laughs> Oh yeah, anyways, the reason that I wanted to do the Ghost Mario is just because we've only done like one single episode with this dude. Versus, we've seen, we've been getting a lot of screen time with B-Mario recently. We've been doing episode 19, which practically all B-Mario. Episode 24, I believe? Yeah, that was also B-Mario. <laughs> so yeah, you could kind of say that we've been getting our fair share of B-Mario. So I decided that why not, l l let's go. Let, let's go with Rainbow Mario. Not Rainbow Booshing Mario, but you know it's whatever. Let's actually go with Rainbow Mario here. Let's finish off the second ga ga galaxy here. Maybe not. Um, Mario, please. Okay. He just looks so stunned when he was looking down. He's like, oh shoot, I have made a terrible mistake. Okay. Um. Yeah, I'm trying to think. If there was, I was looking around for a possible quicker path, but it doesn't seem to be one. So yeah. Why are you I don't know. I, I wasn't looking. All right. Anyways, let's just slowly trudge across this wonderful path that they have laid out for us and die. That that works also. I mean. I'm not gonna. Yeah. Yeah, anyways. Look, actually, I just wanna see what this toad has to say. It's right because of the moonlight! Yeah! Yeah! Bring it back to 19 episode 16. Now it's an 18. One, two, one, two. And the three! Again, 
game, that was me missing every single invincibility star like I'm set out not to. Alright, we have the last stretch here, but again, this is the di most difficult stretch. I had to say it! I had to say it! My gosh, what is wrong with me? <laughs> okay, let's just go. Let's just grab this rainbow star. Let's just get started here before I contemplate my even existence. I don't know why there's a play one play yeah, by the way, don't spin, because uh, although it may make you think that you're going farther, since this thing is moving and you won't, um, yeah, it doesn't exactly work out mathematically wise, so, yeah, don't do that. Same Spyro Galaxy. Let's grab this rainbow shroom. Let's jump to our destination and actually you know what? We're just gonna die one more time. Just for good measure. <laughs> just for good measure. <laughs> oh my gosh, wow. Okay, um, I am seriously failing right now. Really? <laughs> I, I have no words. I have no words. Remember what I said in episode 15? Well, maybe you don't if you haven't watched the gosh dang episode, which you should right after this one, because it's really good. But I said that this game hated me, it was just a hunch, you know? Yeah, it's quite obvious now that this game is out to get me. Yeah. <laughs> it's not my fault, guys. It's just a game. It's just a game. The game makes me Nothing else. Nothing else. Nothing. Just, just again. Speaking of video game music, boy, is there a lot I could say about this topic. Uh, you know, as a game designer, or should I say, uh, concept designer, you know, for levels and all that jazz, you know. You know, Mario Maker? That's essentially what I do. Only, you know, more professional. <laughs> of course, I'm not, I'm not, I don't actually, like, go to studios. But you know what I mean. You know what I mean. That's kind of, that's kind of thing I, that I study, you know, in my spare time. And, you know, just, uh, just video game music, it's, it's good, okay? Obviously, that's broad statement, but there was a lot of very good video game music that is just not even noticed. And, of course, I think the biggest thing that we need to do is we need to have demand for it, because... You know, with de with demand comes supply. So if we have no demand, there will there will be no supply. But if we have demand, then there will be a supply. So that's obviously the most important thing here. Anyways, let's just jump on here and let's spin around once for good measure. And that will be a, a, a second stop today. And finally, you don't have to die sixty million times. I mean. You would hope so. <laughs> Anyways, Micah, give us thy words of wisdom. I just did again. I guess. Micah, it got easy at this time. Anyways, 81 stars. Okay, I'll do it. No, 80 stars. I want to talk. Let's go. Okay, go on. Go ahead. Um, look out. See how we're doing next now. Alright, so as you may have guessed, now that we have finished all of those stars, you know, all of those stars in the engine room, closing off our first video in 2017, we are actually going to be closing off the engine room. Najuski, we're going to back to the fountain, guys! Haha, <laughs> this is just a really big scheme to make you guys expect that we are doing Bowser. I'm just kidding, watching, not doing Bowser today. Get drowned on so much. Don't leave your expectations up to people. Ha ha! And I'm just kidding, watching, doing Bowser. I'm just kidding, guys. Why are you always kidding? 
See, it actually wasn't a elaborate scheme, though. Yeah, you have to give me that much. Just give me that much. Anyways, we do have this guy right here. Who will say something? I've got a secret, why am I telling? Okay, I thought that that guy would give us the secret yet, but maybe not. Still gotta be a caterpillar for a few more episodes here. Just until I defeat Bowser, then, then, you may be my friend. I guess 81 stars, no, 80 stars. Under all that, is not enough to impress you into giving your secret heal. <laughs> Just kidding. Anyway, so yeah, we are going back into the entry room, finishing it off, going to Bowser. In Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor. Let's fly to this galaxy, and let's finish up our first episode. La, la, la. King Caliente's Spicy Return. Yeah, you can probably guess where this is going. We are actually not fighting Bowser today. We are actually going and fighting King Caliente for... Yeah! Second time! Yes. By the way, just just saying something. You know, that, you know this place we're currently at here? Well, just saying. This is the exact same area as we saw before. In Mega Legs Moon, in our first boss. So that was kind of, it's, it's kind of making a preview there. It's some, it, it, not a preview, but you know, the, the stout is, it's reminding you of those good old times. And yeah. Maybe we just have a little spot right here. We have some lava. Just gotta jump across. Get some life shrooms here. Of course, these things will uh, fall down depending on the amount of weight put on it. Of course, Mario being a pretty, uh, um, big guy, I would say. Yeah, he kind of weighs it down at times, so you can't stay down there very long, but anyways, let's fight. If you get, if I give up any more plant stores, my dad's gonna get mad! So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him the... Okay, let's try the skin. So this goes for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. All right, let's a uh, go back in time. Actually, maybe not. This guy just showdown here, showdown of the ages, I guess you could say. Anyway, so yeah, fiery King Caliente, his spicy return, you could say. Slightly more difficult than he was uh, back in the Talus, as you could probably imagine. You know? He will be shooting more uh, ice balls, as you can guess. Uh, he will deflect them no matter what phase you're on. Uh, he adds more hit points, of course. He's also black, meaning that he's not and that he's a more adept fighter. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. That's not actually racist. I'm just kidding. The joke was too enticing to make. Job was too bad. Anyways, just gotta jump over these fireballs. Melons! Maybe not, maybe not. Okay. I have more ice balls trying to follow me. Melons! Melons! Alright. Deal with it, King Caliente. You have to deal with my melons! That you yourself actually created, so I don't know what's wrong with you. Why do you keep on making melons? If we keep on defeating you with your own gosh dang melons. I don't know what's wrong with you, but anyways, by the power of melons, I defeat thou. Take that, King Caliente. Ha! Ow. I think that, that wasn't in the script, Mario. I'm gonna have to redo this episode now. <laughs> just kidding. Anyways, just above us is our second to last. No, no, full to last, I should say. Grand stall in this game. Guys, we don't have much left to go. Let's quickly grab this stall. Go on, left side, and we finish the engine room. You only have one
thank you everyone for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe if you've enjoyed this video. Like if you enjoyed the video. Share if you want others to see it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Ring the bell. And I will see you next time on Super Mario Galaxy!